wrench in the back of the truck. Got a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull this deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Are you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? You know, whatever. I told you I caught the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I think you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and break through my backhand. On your face! Bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. You hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. How fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Who? And hey, we'll see how the fuck he is, man. We were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Not after it's just a bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Man, he's not taking no hot spots back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hill? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance a rebuild. One shit. Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that if the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> Of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You 
need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you got to figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by what? outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. Uh, I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? <laughs> I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Tough fucking tits! Give me up! You guys are going to the finals! Mom's on fire! Woo! What a challenge! ...at Fruit Computers, and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now, oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hold on. Oh! Ah! Get oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, no, no. Whoa! What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks and wreck his girlfriend's house. And we'll need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Lebrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> what do you think? 
Um, let's see, either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, the store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big pick. Well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico and buy ourselves an engagement ring. Well, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. Was, uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but yeah, he, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The jewelers is on Little Portola. Sir, thank you. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> No, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around. Think about it. Come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. Keep hat is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. Oh, you keep up with the old crew? Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they fare? That'll cause undue complications. Yeah, like a simple snap. Is this a remote server? We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes and rub his nose in it. Good. The alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store by the register. I'd start there. The glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof, it means you can smash them easy enough, but stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then. That's an okay score. Yeah, it's a shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say, it's your funeral. One of them, at least. Here are the photos. Uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we'll figure out what we're doing somehow. The clues, the rolls, prep work. I need evidence behind on a hard drive. Yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. Making decisions. That is your domain, my friend. Here. I say that po' boy's lying. But you know what? It's getting to be a bit much. I have no idea how you go. Of course I go. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know. I'm just asking. This is spirit walking, exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. We are women and we are free. Free and patriarchy. We are women. We are free. We are women. Here are shouts and we are women. Come on down. We are women.
damn. Effie. Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to... Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got... I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come with. We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. Hey, I like your dog, homie. Me and Chop got a lot in common. Yo annoying ass. Man, I'm carrying both of y'all asses, homie. Look what I set up. Man, fuck this, man. You seen Tanisha? She's right. It's me and you that ain't straight, though. you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a mad for that this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? You disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides, just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? 
You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Just drive us home. You ruined my life. All right. I want to say thanks for being a part of our little operation. We're all professionals. We all know the score. We're going to execute the plan. We're going to move quick. And we're going to keep cool. If anybody gets pinched, this meeting never took place. We don't know each other. Is that clear? Now, we've um, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing, and the exit points, we believe that a more simple plan will work best. We're going to hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him. Fifteen seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. The customers are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy on crowd control while you and I empty out the merchandise from the cabinets. We're in and out in 90 seconds, guys. Franklin will handle your getaway. I'm leaving on foot. Any questions? Good luck, everyone. Let's go. Four of us in this van. We're about to become accomplices in a major crime. I gotta be able to trust you with my life, my liberty, my reputation. Same goes the other way. A crew will only work, only work, when there's trust. So, in the interest of fostering that type of relationship in the short time we've got, let me introduce myself. I'm Michael. I've done this type of thing before, more than a few times. And I've made good money doing it. Enough to spend a long time not doing it. I hope if anyone yaps about me or any of you, you'll be dealt with. Got it? Good. Now, Frank, over to you. Uh, yeah, man, I'm Franklin, dawg. And, um, I'm new to these kind of planned out detail robberies. I've done my sheer small jobs, you know, liquor stores, warehouses, boosting cars. Then I met this dude right here, Michael, man. And he turned me on to this thing. So, who's next? I'm Gustavo Casimota. Bang for the barrels, but hey, don't tell him I told you that. I might even pull me if I go away. I guess I found out pretty young I could pull a trigger. But it was a couple of years before I started doing it for bread, you know what I'm saying? Instead of that repping where you from bullshit. And here we are. Uh, all right, this is Eddie Toe. He'll be cleaning out the cabinets and handling the getaway. He's got you some bikes for that. All you need... This is it. Let's move. Go get the bikes. Go! Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment! Please! 
Don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing on the floor now! I'll clean out these displays. I've been able to get you around a minute and a half before the election. You are right. Let's go, let's go! Come on, let's clear this place out! Don't move! Hey, we hit our target! Let's see how high we can go! Half a minute left. Not a lot like this, we should be able to strip the joint. Come on! Time left! Don't tell my wife I got all these jewels. Keep moving! It's a floor! Oh, gee! Nice work on the crowd! Don't be the last time! Move it! Get the fuck out my face! Oh. I get a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. See you at the river. Go. All right, people, we need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. so what now? We get out of here, keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. Oh, there you are. Hey. I feel like we haven't seen each other in forever. You want to have some dinner later? I'd love to, but, you know, yoga waits for no one. Another time. <sighs> oh, hey, there you are. I was cracking. So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did it. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked. Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. Gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Nothing. Really. The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. fake rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, pushes me over, and says something like, you forget thousands of things every day. You make sure this is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You wanna get lit now, sugar? Trevor, baby, you wanna you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor! You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole! Don't do it, Johnny! I told him, Trevor. I told him. We all get high! We all get high! But that don't Leave make it, it right! Johnny! Leave it! The crystal has got us, babe, but that don't make it right. Don't make nothing right! Not what you done with me! I'm telling Johnny, leave it! I ain't leaving nothing! Trevor! I'm talking to you, motherfucker! Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him leave it, leave it. Shut up, Ron. 
I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh. I don't mean nothing by it, man. I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Shh. <laughs> Fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Billy bereaved brothers! This ghost I saw, his name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him! Really? Uh, my cousin's there, but I don't... Find him! Wait, you just mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then quiet down that bitch Ashley you was in, then they don't need to find out about you it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Hey, you seen Ashley Johnny's looking for? Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just ten minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messin' with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient part of you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a fight for much longer. Can't fuck with the van. But we can drop those bikers. Who makes this bet? I work. All righty, Root. Now we just sit on this guy till he gets to them. Did you see the faces? We scared him, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. You operate. I didn't have to. I don't like the way he's looking at me. I thought you was crazy, man, not stupid. Think about it. Oh, that feels better. I guess 
Galaxy don't run nothing no more. As soon as I find that Spectre on the TV, Michael Townley. He's your buddy who said got shot, right? You guys used to run together. Yeah, that's him. My best pal. I thought he was dead. You're catching on fast. Yeah, the fucking ghost I've been talking about. He's alive? He's walking, and he's talking. He's sticking up joints, so I guess, yeah, that makes him alive, don't it? And how you know it's him? It's his M.O., and it's the same corny shit he was spewing ten years back. This could be a trap, Trevor. What if someone wants you to think he's alive? I was fooled when I thought he was dead. I ain't fooled now. Michael Townley lives and breathes. He's in Los Santos, and he's got some explaining to do. They could be trying to draw you out into the Oxy theory too far, even for you, Ronald. Really? Well, anyway, it seems like a shame for you to be going, just as TP Industries is finding its feet. I'll do what I can to put the business on its path before I depart. The company needs you, boss. You'll do fine in my absence. I don't know what this Michael Townley's got that you can't find. Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 manor chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Cheng and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No! Super! Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! Uh, I knew we were having visitors! Potential business partners out of the ice chest. Yeah, all right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Shit. I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, I'm gonna freak. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the audience.
for you. Ten years, which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck? Oh, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe... Just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? My God. Michelle, a lady troll. Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after for a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. Oh, she could make more money stripping. Maybe... Hey! Maybe a little on the side with alcohol work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then, she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Oh. You dumbass! Ew. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this Graham? Hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. But it was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> good Lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for Fame or Shame. Fame or Shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! You know, I could probably handle this myself. Shit! Like it myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. <laughs> Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, you're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. Try to tell me how to run my life. Don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss, you got blood under your nails, and you look like you've been up for what, a week? Got you to tell me anything. I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor mother. Fucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, how you been doing? Oh, I'm getting by. Aside from the loneliness and heartbreak, of course. You live in Los Santos? A few hours away. Okay. To where? Sandy Shores. The Alamo Sea. Ah, here it's nice there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, golf links, all the pumped up plastic sluts are used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but... Yeah, don't worry, all right? I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With action... Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar, huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir, may I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta, fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. It is quiet. They're auditioning right now. Fuses must have reached. You're gonna be just as good then as it has been. All right. Yeah. That was really. All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and... Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. <laughs> Take 
but your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Yeah, you picked up a 20 in there. Oh, oh. Fucking do something about this. I'm gonna see my uh, uh, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Oh, hey, hey, I got security! Security! What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come on! Right there! No! Oh. 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 Come here, you little shit! <laughs> Hey, 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 you guys, you run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrite. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Oh. Come on, lower, oh, lower, no. come on. Oh. Oh. Please don't kill me, okay? Oh. I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, Please come don't. on, get no. off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. Uh, I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. <laughs> the world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> Dave, we need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay, meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Of course, what else would you drive? How about this? Just like old times. God, Mikey, Los Santos has really done a number on you. Please, please, can you stop being so judgmental about everything? You hate me, you hate Los Santos, hell, you hate everything. You think you're better than everyone. No. No, it's you who thinks you're better than everyone. Better than me, better than normal people, all your high-class problems. You're the judgmental one, sugar, not me. What was that?